So what's happening with you? What's going on, bro? What up? What's happening with you? Scott, what's up, bro? I'm just chilling, man. Talking to y'all. I don't know about back, but I'm in the street. What's happening with you? What you mean where I've been, bro? What's going on with y'all? Oh yeah, checking in with y'all, bro. That's it. Hit the cash app, bro. Checking in with y'all, dog. You know I be easy here. Awesome, true speak. Thank you for all you do, sir. Appreciate the love, dog. What up, TV? You been gone for a month. I can't be gone for a month, bro. I just been chilling, dog. That's it. I ain't know y'all wanted to see it, brother, man. It's already hot down in Texas. Hey man, I just been chilling, y'all. I just need to take time to myself for a while, bro. That's all that was. I'm, I'm gonna be back at it. You know, I thought y'all was living the dream, man. I ain't know y'all was worrying about what I was doing. I thought y'all were living the dream, dog. Come on. Yo. All right, I'm done. Why don't stop this? You ain't gonna change YouTube live, bro. Like. There we go. Uh, we understand. Appreciate the love, man. Thanks for understanding, man. I just been, you know, trying to get my life together, bro, and and, and, and get my mental together, man. I just needed a break. Yeah, I had to cool off, bro. You know, I had to. These motherfuckers don't come up to my truck, man. I just had to cool off, man. Get my life together, man. Chill out, though. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the main thing. I just had to chill out, and that's what I've been. Uh, that's what I've been doing, man. Just get my head right. Trying to decide, um, you know, what am I gonna do next, man? Like I don't know what I, I don't really know what I'm about to do next on this media zone. To be real with you, bro. Um, it's been chilling. Thought you retired for a second. No, I ain't retired, bro. I've been going consistently for eight years, bro. I've been going consistently for eight years, dog. Like, sometimes I gotta take a brisade. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Sometimes I gotta take a break. Sometimes I gotta chill, man. Like, that's all it is. I just want to come on here and touch base with y'all, see how y'all doing. What y'all, you know, what's been what's been the word? No, nah, I got rid of that Civic. I don't have that Civic no more. TV, let's do an interview together. Yeah, it's illegal to take a break, bro. That's that's all that was. You know, I just been I just been chilling on the lousy, man. That's it. Sometimes you need a break, dog, and uh, I just needed a break, man. Well, nobody wants you to take a break, bro. As I said, I come on here and holler at y'all, see how y'all doing. I mean, I ain't even know if <coughs> y'all wanted lives from the truck. You know, I'm usually doing it on like um, my setup. So I didn't know if y'all wanted lives on the truck or not. So 
if y'all want lives like the old school ones where I'm just sitting in the front and it's just pointing at me and I'm just talking, I can do those, man. That ain't hard to do. Denise sent me $20. Good to see you too, Denisha. Your name is Denisha. Appreciate the love, Denisha. Um, but yeah, that's it. Been rocking with you since this truck and this good career video. Appreciate the love eventually. No, nah, I like the lives from your setup. See? They like lives from the setup. So I can't go live in the truck because everybody wants lives from the setup, man. So if I ain't home, I can't do no live. That's me. I appreciate that, Nisha. Appreciate the love, Nisha. Yo. Um, you know, I can't... How do I say this? Like, I don't know why you can't turn this sideways no more. Rotation is locked. Rotate back device. Yeah, they won't let me turn it sideways, y'all. They done changed YouTube Live a little bit on the phone. I don't usually be on the phone like that, though. So, I don't really know how to, uh you know, navigate like I used to. Uh, how do I do this? You know, I used to have it set up, but like you said, they don't want to see the lives from the, uh, the truck. They want to see it from the full fledged studio jump. And um, I got to be home for that. And I, I really don't be home like that. Oh, I really do not be home like that. How do I get this? I'm trying to navigate this shit, bro. Hold on. What the fuck is you smoking? Where are you headed, man? I'm just dropping off right now. How do I? Yeah, I'm just dropping off right now. That's it. Uh, Mason Clark, appreciate the $50 to the cash app. Thanks for showing love, man. I just don't, like I said, a lot of this discussion on here today need to be about, you know, really what y'all want to see, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, this, this media shit and trucking done got so weird. I don't even know what y'all even trying to look at, to be real. You know. I don't even know what y'all trying to look at out here no more. So it's like I just, I just be on the lousy man. Like I don't, I don't, I don't really be uh, bothering too much. To be honest with you. After six years of again, I'm finally about to start my flatbed journey. That's what's up, Big Mike. Uh, with green screen work with banana pictures. I don't know what you're talking about, Brett. Slightly racist, bro. Uh, at this point, is the trucking career, do you enjoy OTR, sleeper style driving more? I definitely enjoy OTR more than the regionally type stuff. You know? I guess I'm technically regionally now. But, I mean, I prefer to be out, bro. I don't, I don't like the you gotta come home every five minutes shit. I don't I don't like that. Don't like it. Do you like uh Garmin, Rand McNally? Here's a little truth. I like Trucker Path, to be honest with you. I like Trucker Path. Uh would you green screen? the reefer boys who's that the reefer boy they said bananas that said bananas yeah bro you gonna get yourself blocked by one of my moderators brett i can't help you with that man sorry yeah like i said i don't know what y'all are really looking for um i just been on the lowsy man trying to you know Get my life right, I guess. Get my mental right to do this. 
know what I'm saying? That's really what I've been doing. And, um, that, that shit takes time, man. Takes time. No, nah, I pay for trucker pass, bro. I pay that. I pay that. I think it's nineteen or twenty dollars a month. I pay that shit. Uh, I'm, you know, with trucker path, and I'm not sponsored by them in any way because they would never probably sponsor someone like me. But um, the, I'm just being honest. That's what I use. I use it on my phone. I use trucker path. TB take out and say we love you. TB take care out there. We say we love you. I appreciate that CDL Shorty. Do you pay the way I'm at the five year wall? Oh, Cobb, tell me you ain't hit the wall, man. You gotta duck the wall, player. You can't just hit it. You can't hit it head on, dog. You gotta duck that thing. I got something in my hair. You gotta duck the wall, man. You got to duck the wall. <laughs> Cause the wall will kill you, dog. Big Mike, top person in the cash app right now. Big Mike, appreciate the love, dog. Yeah, don't don't don't, don't hit the wall, dog. Come on now. Uh, he said Baham Bahamas. He said he said Bahamas like the island. All right. Unblock them then. What is the five-year wall? Really, it depends on you. Some people hit a five-year wall. Some people hit a four-year wall. Or some people hit a seven-year wall. I hit a seven-year wall. I was good into about seven years. And that's when I was like, this is brutal, man. And I didn't feel like I, w I wanted to do it anymore for a while. You know, so around the seven-ish, eight-ish, seven-year I hit the wall. I probably started to try to get out around eight and a half. You know, I start trying to do local stuff. You start wanting to be home more. You know, it's just a wall you hit. Everybody, some people hit that some bitch in a year. Like some people just, you know, it's rough, bro. Uh, Von Cobb, it is rough, man. Um, the wall is it's brutal because it hits you hard, man. And it's compounded by a lot of things. It's compounded by, you know, the truth is, me and Von Von Cobb, you probably ain't eat everything you were supposed to eat. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, it's, it's compounded by health. It's compounded by, um, you know, more than one thing. Health, missing people. It's compounded by trucks breaking down. You're not making no money. It's compounded by going places you don't want to go anymore. It's compounded by I ain't getting no cheeks. It's compounded by a lot of things, bro. It ain't just a... Uh, you know, it ain't just one thing, bro. It's a lot of things. See, Frank said it was one for him. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Wall? I don't understand, Dez. Re rewrite that. The, the new generation has hit the wall after two years. Probably, man. That wall is brutal, bro. And you know why they probably hit the wall after two years? They're probably smarter than us. And they're, you know, putting together this is some crap faster than we did you know but uh you know i hope that um i hope you get through it man because it's brutal everybody hits it dog you know and, and really usually what happens is when when someone hits it you'll start seeing a youtuber job hop and at time we don't know it's the wall you know we don't know we're hitting the wall but we just nothing works man and what'll happen is You'll get short, bro. You'll get short. You don't want to hear you going someplace you don't want to go. You start saying no to loads. You start wanting to go home more. Now you, you know, you going home a lot. And it all adds up, which means your pay's going down. You know, you're arguing with your old lady. Or you done got single and now you can't, you ain't got no time to court no new cheeks. <laughs> now you stopping in Vegas a lot. You, say, you know, a lot of stuff... The truth is, the job is for you to run, bro. Now, how you know you're hitting the wall is that you're mad about doing the job. 
that means you're in a you're in a bad place, bro. See, Voss says he hit it in six years. A month without a check breakdowns will do that, bro. So I mean, it's it's it, everybody hits it every once in a while, man. Everybody hits hits the wall, bro. That's the no one's exempt from that. You gotta hit the wall, man. Some guys, you know, the at home dudes who have found a at home job that they like. Usually they're like hazmat type cats or them hopper cats that's outside of the trucking industry for real. They really don't got to deal with that because they get to go home every weekend or go home every day. So they're not they're not really feeling the wall like that. Oh, my God, Scott, you're on point, bro. Come on now. You know, your money meant one thing then. Now it don't mean it now. Like, come on, bro. Hey, you speak you speaking the truth, man. You know, you was you was balling 2016. Now it's like, dang, bro, I'm barely making out ball until 1516. Now it's like two two thousand don't mean what it meant. 2500, 3500 don't mean what it meant, bro. And then the industry was so weird that you weren't really making checks. So by the time you get that thirty five hundred dollar check, you owe so much money, you still left with five hundred dollars. That type of stuff will it'll make you burn out, bro. It'll make you burn out, man. It'll make you burn out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I done got me a load, bro. Let's see what they done did to me here. Today the fifth. Today the fifth, right? Hold on, let me check. Today is the fifth. Okay, so okay, I go from there. I go from Georgia to Texas. All right, and it has to be dropped. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry, y'all. I got to work a little, talk to the broker and stuff with a little load thing. Okay, 24 years I've hit it many times. Oh, wow. See, that's something that's past me. I've only been in the game 11 years, so I haven't hit the wall again. So apparently you can hit it more than once. Uh, hung in till something better came along. I'm good now. What's up, big dog? I'm getting ready to go to the North Slope in Alaska. Brutal capital T. Brutal. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, like I said, what helps you with the wall? Mother fudger. What helps you with the wall? Um, I would say having a support system would help. Having a support system will help. Uh, Listening to a channel that isn't complete buffoonery will help. Having a plan will help. Usually you burn out when you're not working towards anything anymore. You know, you don't you don't got the car you wanted. You know, you got the car you wanted, you've got the gadgets you wanted, the iPad you wanted, you got a little bit of the clothes you wanted, you live in the area you want, and now the truth is you want to enjoy your car, enjoy your apartment, or enjoy your house and enjoy your clothes. And you can't, cause you gotta keep getting back in the truck. You gotta keep leaving what is fun, and that that help that that helps to uh, burn. Yeah, training helps. Uh, learning something new helps. Yeah, you know, learning something new helps. Like, you may you may get in the game, and you may have been doing reefer the whole five years you got in the game. And switching to another division may help. You know? 
different things help, bro. You may have been in the company this whole time. Maybe switch into a little bit more responsibility. You know, owner IP leasey type stuff may may interest you. You know, so I mean, there's a lot of things that could help or hurt hurt that situation, man. A lot of things that can help or hurt that situation. Just you just gotta be. It, you can handle the wall better if you knew it was coming. See, I didn't even know it was coming. It just hit me, pow. And I was just thinking, you know, I'm sucking right now. I didn't. I didn't think that it was like, yo, I'm I'm fuck. I'm, I'm sick of this. I wasn't thinking that. I appreciate that, Kenneth. I appreciate that, Kenneth. Block Keith. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have a new policy, man. Uh, any, any, I'm just blocking any stupid comments. I'm not doing the thing where I blow up again like that. I'm gonna try to. I, I've been trying this, y'all. I've been working good on that for real, for a while. Y'all seen me try to stop doing that. But every once in a while, you know, I'll, I'll fall short, and that's really my fault. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was it's wrong of me to go off like that. I need, you know, what I'm saying that's why I don't like doing that stuff no more. Because some people, man, they just be so cool, they be so stupid. It, it like it angers me. But the truth is, it's my fault to get mad at you being that dumb. So I gotta stop doing that, bro. I really do. So uh, when my moderator is watching it, I say a name block him. Just get him out of here, man. Just get him out of here, or I'm gonna go off on a tangent on. I don't want to do that. Yeah, count what you got, because remember, Cass is on the street. So, I mean, you ain't doing bad. I'm not even a trucker, but I feel like a lot of what you say applies to other aspects of life. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I guess my videos would be more places. People would share my videos more if, you know, if that was really true. But people don't really share my, you know what I'm saying? They don't really share my videos, man. Like, I, don't, I don't have videos that... The truth is what makes virability has changed in media and especially social media. And what I do is not coveted by the algorithm no more. And it was something I just had to, you know, I just had to accept that. Like I can't, I can't switch to dancing and jigaboo and coon and it's just not who I am. So I'm not going to be that popular in this era. I'm just not going to do it, bro. I, I just can't do it to be honest with you. I can't do it. What do you mean, dude? There's a wall in, in mental health, period, bro. People are millionaires and hit walls. See, this is what I mean. You get people that are dumb. And, and, and that's the, I think that's the real division in trucking is that most, of, most people are stupid, bro. Most people are stupid. What do you mean there's no wall? Millionaires hit walls. They're just sitting up in their millionaire house and are, are depressed and on drugs, bro. They hit a wall, they don't know what to do with themselves. You know, Will Smith hit a wall, bro. Like, people, everybody hits a wall, man. I just wanted to say thanks for the other night. I was nervous. You were the first man on man. You were the first man on man love. What? Y'all are creepy, dude. Like, <laughs> y'all are creepy, man. No JS, no block them. Like, that, I don't even know what that is, bro. That is crazy. Thanks, Cobb. You have a lot of spam bots like comments, TB. Gotta block these. Block them all, man. You know, we're high blocking, bro. I, I don't know where that comes from, man. See? Bina, block them too. That, that means I gotta, I, what I really need to do is assign new uh, moderators. Man, same old, same old, man. Um, you know, hopping, dropping. I just have the ability to pick up another trailer now on some power only type next level shit. I ain't really gonna get into, but I can, I can pull anything from a, a hopper to a flatbed to a reefer, bro. So you never know what I'm gonna be. Uh, all in. I can drop off stuff to the airport. I can drop off stuff anywhere, bro. Mm -hmm. 
like I said, you know, I'm not here to uh, debate with y'all. Thank you, Scott. Really appreciate it. Mel- um, Melton shows a lot of pay sucks, but shows a lot. Melton shows a lot. Why does it pay suck? What's your opinion on fuel hauling? I don't have. I've never had a hazmat, bro. So I really don't have an opinion on it. They, they seem happy to me. Yeah, I can pull both trailers. I can pull bulk trailers all day long if I want. They kept spamming me to join them. I don't see no. I mean, I, I've never worked for rail, man. So I, I don't. I don't. You know, I don't have. I don't have a. Uh, I don't have insight on companies I've never really dealt with closely. So I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know what to tell you about rail. Yeah, I've been in the streets. I've been in the streets, you up. I've been in the streets, man. I just been on the lowsy, dog. That's it. I just been on the lowsy, man. That's it. I ain't been buying nobody. I've been chilling, dog. That's it. I would say Melton, bro. Be honest with you. I'm not interested in fleets. Yeah, he will be there to pay out. I mean, why wouldn't it be, bro? Why would you? Why would you? Why would you question if UPS is going to be there to pay out on their pension? Why would you question that, like? I mean, why wouldn't they be? Like, but I am an owner operator. I pay 4K a month truck trailer mortgage payment. It's it gets hard. I bet. I bet. Well, it's decent. Camera in the truck though. Ugh. Camera in the truck, man. That's annoying. I I don't mind a camera pointing out. I just don't like the whole camera pointing in because I don't believe that companies, I don't believe that they only listen to what they say they listen to. I believe that they be listening to your conversation, bro. That's what I believe. You're saying so many companies are closing. Well, I mean, man, there, I mean, there's no way for us to know, bro. You could only hope. You know, you could only hope. Block no signal, please. You can only hope, bro. You know, you you don't know, man. Nobody knows that. So, I mean, where I would like to think they'll be there, you, you never freaking know. I mean, a person could say that about Yellow. Yellow was uh, operating for 98 years. So, and then they disappear. So, you just don't know, man. You hope. So I feel so they won't hear your conversation. Man, I think they listen to that, John. I feel I shouldn't have never left Melton. Man, I've been there. I felt that way my damn self, bro. If I'd have never left Melton. I'd probably been a happier trucker, bro, to be honest with you. Definitely. I've probably been a happier trucker. I feel that way about I feel that way about Melton and Prime. You know, I'd have just built a life based on what I made, bro. Simple as that. I'd have built a life based on what I made. Um, you know, you calling that a... I don't know what their number is. At the time, I was getting 31 cents a mile. It got up to like, uh, I think, 41. That's where I topped out before I quit. Um, you know... The loads were straightforward. It was a CPM all miles. Um, the trucks were top of the line. 
you know, the work was hard and it went all different places. But at the same time, um, it was a straightforward company. And I, I think now I'll probably have about eight, nine years there now. So I'd be a million miler. I have a decked out truck. You know, my 401k would be stacked. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I wish I would have never, ever, ever. I should just stuck with that, bro. To be honest. That's true. There's a lot of racism in this country, period, man. It don't matter what, the, what, what, what thing you do, bro. It's everywhere. It is what it is. I mean, if you wake up all day worrying about racism, bro, you, you ain't living. Damn near impossible to stay with one company with all the lies and dreams. Well, I mean, you could look at it that way. Hey, I, I appreciate that, Jerry. If you look at it that way, um, the truth is your expectations. More than the lies they tell you is the expectations, bro. You know, we come in, we come into this game with a boatload of expectations, man. And the truth is, if you're a company driver, you make sixty thousand dollars a year, around sixty thousand dollars a year. If you're a regular OTR dude with no, with no hazmat, you're making like sixty thousand dollars a year. If you're a hazmat guy, you're in the you're in the eighties and nineties. If you if you show up to work every day, you know, if you're a regular LTL guy, you probably can make more than that. And then there's your um, there is your exceptions to the rule. But for the average guy here that's just gonna pick up an NFI and, and just run near near the crib, kinda, you're gonna be making between fifty and sixty thousand dollars a year probably. You just van, dropping it out, dropping it off, flatbed, all that. Maybe you can get into oversize, but that's about what you're gonna make, bro. And even if you are a freaking um even if you're a freaking lease driver, you're not gonna make much more than that. So a lease truck makes, you know, two hundred thirty thousand, two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. 50 of that goes to fuel, 50 of that goes to the truck, 52 of that goes to the truck. Because the trucks at, at, at these major carriers, they're a $1,000 a, $1, a week. So 52 of that goes to the truck, 50 of that goes to the fuel. That's 100,000 out right there. Then all the other the other 26 lines of deductions, you can call that another $30,000. What are you down to? 50, 60, 70,000. And that's if you're a hard runner. If you're not a hard runner, it ain't, it, bro, it's, no matter how you cut it, you make around fifty to seventy thousand dollars, and then taxes. So I mean, even if a person tells you I make a hundred thousand dollars in trucking, they're never telling you about the taxes, and it depends on their state. So if you're making a hundred thousand dollars in New York, you know the taxes are crazy in Washington, and dude, you're not really making that. You're making about sixty thousand dollars, bro. That's what it is. Right. Any company without a camera facing the driver. Yeah, there's companies out there like that. Maverick, FB training was best. TMC, Prime, ATS, Vet. Nobody ever talks about tax. No, nobody ever talks about taxes because the truth is you shouldn't be coming here to learn taxes because people that know what they're talking about with taxes actually have a credential, bro. They have a credential and a license to discuss it. That's why you, the dudes you're looking at in trucking don't talk about taxes because they're not licensed to tell you about taxes. To be honest, they can, but they shouldn't. Right? You should be talking to somebody that knows what they're talking about. And the people who paid the money to get their license or whatever like that, you got to pay to talk to them people. They're not just giving out the drip. You got to pay them people and y'all ain't willing to pay them. So you'll just keep existing without knowing about taxes. It's that simple. And you know, in the true, in, in the true secret is, you know, you cannot have a, you cannot have a high personal can't have high personal obligations and do this to a high level that's the truth and most people have high obligations they have two three four thousand dollars a month in home obligations so of course you're screwed
That's crazy, Sean. Man, I don't know. It's just a red. I don't, they don't pay me for these vapes, bro. It's a Vaporoso. It's a regular old pin vape. That's all you see seeing, bro. I don't care how they cut it, man. Even if they tell you something higher, they're going to steal it. That's how I feel about trucking companies most of the time. They're going to steal it. They're going to steal it. And so, especially if you're doing some weird lease stuff, they're going to write a way to get that money back. So, I mean, the truth is, are you modest enough and have your income intact enough are you live in the right place a lot of stuff i'll tell you what the truth is truckers should be moving out of these cities that's the truth there is no reason for no otr person to live in a major city period it's just stupid there's no reason for no otr person to be living in dallas no reason for OTR person to be living in atlanta none because you could take your pay differential i'll put it this way if you live in atlanta and your company runs stuff from Georgia to California and back a lot, right? And let's say they run that on the 20 or the 40, right? That means you can live anywhere on that route. Anywhere on that route. So why would you pay the Atlanta premium when you technically could live in Mississippi? and cut your rent in half. You could technically live in uh, New Mexico. Right? You could live in, in, in Amarillo, Texas. Or the outskirts. And you can cut your rent in half. So it, but the fact is, if you're refusing to move out of an expensive situation, you're just a dumb person. You're stupid. You, you're stupid or you are so involved in being around these other people who are going broke themselves, you're not paying attention. You're not paying attention. You have the ability to live anywhere your truck goes often. So if you're an OTR driver, within reason, you can live in any 48 states, right? Any 48 states. So tell me this: hey, you're 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 in uh, you're in uh, Atlanta, or or let's say you're you're in um, you know, does anybody know what the tax is in Atlanta? What are the people paying in taxes in Georgia? What's the yearly tax? You're saying if you have a if you're a person or you have a, if you just type in what is the tax percentage of Georgia. It'll tell you. It'll say 10% or 7% or something. Bam. Okay. We're going to go with Darius. He says it's 7%. All right. It's 7%. So right now, tell me what the, uh, uh, Darius, tell me what the tax percentage is in New York. What is the tax percentage in New York? What is the tax percentage in California? Type it in, tell me. Look at that, Darius, 17 to 20 percent. So if we're gonna go a flat something easy to put in, let's call it a hundred thousand. You're making a hundred thousand dollars being an OTR driver any way you're making it, right? So which one are you gonna pay? The Georgia 7 or the New York 20? Which one are you gonna pay? Or the South Carolina 6%. Bingo. That's why you need to move this. That's why everybody wants to go to uh everybody wants to go to Texas. But the problem with everybody going to Texas is everything else is going up. So soon Texas is not gonna be worth it. It's a New York is 30. There he is 58k for a hundred thousand. I'll take seven in Georgia. Dang, where I been? Zero percent. Can I have a C? That, that, that block. Uh, uh, can I have an autograph? That's not a real comment about our subject. So, 
what I'm saying is, why would you sit there in New York? You picked being an OTR driver. That means your profession means you have the ability to live anywhere. If they're running you from New York down to Florida, you can live anywhere in between that most of the time. They're running you from New York down to Florida. They're running you from New York on the 80 over to Ohio, Toledo, Michigan. They're running you uh, uh, over to Minneapolis. They're running you uh, diagonal down to Texas and Dallas. You can live anywhere in there. So why are you still living there and giving that municipality all that money? And then you're gonna turn around and say, trucking's not paying enough. No, you're stupid. And you're sitting there giving people all your money. You would, that'd be your first thing to, you to save some money. You would try to, okay, I need to get this 30% off me. I'm not wanna pay these people 30%. Mississippi, Alabama, oh my God, Jerry. Mississippi, Alabama, super underrated to live. Super underrated. Super underrated. So what, uh, uh, Oklahoma tiny homes for quick 20,000. How does an owner operator break down, how that money break down for the year? That ain't complicated, bro. You don't know. Anything can happen. That's a question that it, it says a trick question. Agreed. Live in MD, but want to go to Georgia or somewhere, uh, 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 somewhere south. Smart. But my thing is, with y'all people that love to stay in the South, everybody's moving South. So you're going to run into high rents. Because us, as um, city folk, we're so scared to live on the outskirts of town. You're going to move right down to go move straight to Birmingham. You're going to move straight to Jackson, Mississippi. You're going you're gonna to move straight to Atlanta. You're going to move straight to Savannah. When there's, there, there's parishes and counties between there. You don't have to move out of Georgia. Just move out of Atlanta. Uh, like, what are we talking about? Y'all gonna move down to Houston, Dallas, Atlanta. And that joint is super expensive. You, for the offset in Texas, they're gonna charge you in rent and all other crap. Why would you do that? Move somewhere nobody is. That's why when you're driving down the street and you see them uh, people on the side of the road, they're living the dream. Oh, Wyoming and Oklahoma is a gem. Definitely. Why would you move to Atlanta? Well, first of all, if you're a person that wants to move to Atlanta, we can never be friends. Because to me, it's like that, that city, talk, if you want to move there, it says a lot about you. That's how I feel. Now, if you already been living there your whole life, that's different. That's your hometown. But if you're a person coming from somewhere else and you know, I, I want to live in Atlanta, you're disgusting. That's how I feel. Rome, Georgia, 1.5 hours away from Atlanta and phenomenal housing pride. That's what I'm saying. Move to the outskirts. I put it to you this way. Don't move to no place that has that that marketing, bro. No place a movie's been done. None of that. None of that. It is sleepless in Seattle. Don't move to Seattle. It never rains in Southern California. Don't move to LA. Those places are marketed, they're expensive. And the truth is, I'm being real. Us as, as truck drivers, we don't, I'll give you a perfect example. When you're with your company, why are you, why is your company on the outskirts? Your company's headquarters ain't down there. They probably got a terminal down there, but their company headquarters ain't down there. Half the time. And they got millions of dollars. They know not to live there. Yeah, Colorado is, is a beautiful place, but you wouldn't be able to afford to live there. All the people from LA done moved that, that there, Austin, Phoenix, Colorado, Austin, they're already bought up, bro. Ain't no point even going. Ain't no point even going, man. Ain't gonna 
gonna be on here forever. Uh, Vaughn, thanks for hitting the cash app. Big Mike, Mason, and uh, Dan, Danisha was the only people that had missed me from being gone, bro. The only ones hit the cash app. Show love to a brother, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean it's 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 brutal, bro. You know, I'm a person. You know, I. I spent a lot of time in Colorado, man. I love Colorado, and, you know, they just price you out, bro. You can't live there no more. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. They got a lot of weird-ass rules. Always, man. Pueblo, yeah. I've never, I've never lived there, man, but um, no, man. I live in nondescript states, man. I live in states nobody would want to live in, though. That's how I get down. I don't want to live nowhere there's no marketing, dog. Nowhere there's no marketing, bro. If there's marketing there, I don't want to live there. If people want to move there, I don't want to live there. It makes, makes everything complicated. That's all it does. It makes everything complicated. And nobody wants to be that com live that complicated, bro. Who wants to live like that? I know I don't. I do not want to live like that. Freaking, um, you know, you're, I watch my fuel, man. I feel like they're going to take all damn day, bro. I need to figure out how far, uh, how much traffic I'm going to have to deal with when I get out of here. I'm fixing move Phoenix, Arizona to Western Iowa. Yeah, Iowa slept on, bro. Iowa and Nebraska slept on. You know, there's a lot of trucking companies out of there, too. Iowa and Nebraska slept on very easy running through there, too. Very easy running. Nice, free and clear truck stops. Yeah. I mean, look at the real estate in Iowa and Nebraska. Look at that real estate, man. That shit ain't expensive. You can go up there with what you make in your OTR position and, and, and make out, bro. Yeah, no one wants to move because the truth is, there isn't. The truth is, in states like that, there isn't much entertainment, and people want to be entertained. That's the only reason why you would want to move to Houston, Atlanta. Uh, uh, you know, if you want to move to Houston, Atlanta, Miami, you want to move there for the entertainment and, and the extra BS that you can't afford. You're, you're too. Most people are too stupid to realize that you can't afford that stuff. Because you're going to all that stuff and then you're coming to the live saying, you know, it, it, there's not enough money. That means you're doing shit with the money you can't afford. If you were living a modest lifestyle, you could you you'd be living very well. That's the truth. If you were living a modest lifestyle, if you had a double wide, uh, you know, like a one of them fit, let me tell you something, them new double wide trailers are dope. Let me that stigma that 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 double wide like modular homes are whack. Y'all gotta stop that. That shit. They them things are nice now, bro. And when you get a chance, go to one of them Clayton home joints. Go to one of them Clayton home joints. Them things are nice, bro. Them things are nice, man. Don't sleep on them things, man. I went. I just went in one for shits and giggles once, and just walked through it and was vastly surprised, bro. Vastly surprised, yo. Have y'all seen this side? A hundred, a hundred. Bugatti Mobile. Them things are nice. We're like, God, this so nice as hell. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting to see inside one of those freaking Clayton Home trailers, yo. I want to. It, it's crazy. And I, I mean, the one I, the one I looked in, was totally decked, and it was like a hundred grand. See, and that's how people look at them. See how Adam looks at it? A nineteen eighty six crack shack. That's the, that's the, what I mean by the stigma and ignorance. Sophie, block Sophie Parker. How can you get experience and uh, want to uh, hire you? 
how you how can you get experience by working bro i mean come on it's okay to live in nice if you you bring in 252k your home yeah it's okay to live nice if you and your wife bring in 225k a year home income that's a fact adam and uh yeah that is but what you're realizing now darius is that when you get away from modesty and you start living over your means and start living crazy those people who make two hundred thousand dollars a year they don't make that for 20 years bro these people get laid off so if your bills are way up high and one of y'all get laid off, what what are you now? You're screwed. That's what you are. You're screwed. Your plan is to invest and get out within the next 10 years max. That's not going to happen. Everybody had that plan, bro. Doesn't work. People are really sleep on double and triple. Man, I'm telling you to be these deep. I was floored, bro. Them trailers were so nice inside. Have y'all been to the Clayton Holmes place and just looked around? They're not what you think, man. I, I was like, this is dope. I just, I never ever, what's the word? I never considered something like that because it, the trailer has always been considered something like poor or, you know, I never thought they were that nice. I, di I didn't. I really didn't, bro. And you're talking about, you know, you go to the outskirts, get you, get you one of them for a hundred racks, man. Get a used one for 50. And they put it on the land for you. They put it all in the finance and all. You know, so, I mean, I know y'all want to live this whole fancy life, but what can you do? My wife is a scientist, makes six figures. I'm a fuel hauler, 45 minutes from Atlanta in the suburbs to you. Is it, mo is it modesty? Darius, I don't understand what you're aiming at, bro. I don't know your life, so you're trying to get me to agree to your life? Is, is asinine, bro. I don't know your life. I don't know you. So why why are you trying to get me to agree to something that I don't know about? I don't I don't know your wife. I don't know what she does. You know, I don't know what your house looks like. I don't know what your cars are. Why are you asking me that question? Why are you asking me that question, bro? I don't know. I don't know you. There's people with modesty that live in Atlanta. You know, that I, you could be a modest guy living in Atlanta. I don't know that. That's D DJ Free. That's what I'm talking about. Park a truck in the house. Low expenses, paid off land, RV, and have a good job. You can stand it all you want. Big cities, I get angry. I agree, Ghost. I want to know what's your thoughts or perception on modesty. Well, mo modesty is pretty simple, bro. Modesty is pretty simple. Modesty is is the opposite of audacious. You understand? Mod, mod, modesty is 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 you could have bought an Escalade, but you bought a Trailblazer. You know, and you decided that the Escalade, which is not modest, was 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 too audacious for you. You preferred a modest car. You preferred a modest house. You know what I'm saying? You wear modest clothes. You're not wearing a bunch of jewelry and stuff like that. You can live in Atlanta and be modest. You know, it doesn't have to, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to be that. Like I said, people were born in Atlanta and, you know, that's all they freaking know. They don't have to be audacious. I don't understand what you're trying to get at. You know, you like living in Atlanta, man. Okay. Live in Atlanta. I don't. I don't see what you're. I don't get it. You gotta explain it to me. Thank you. Opposites of material. I mean, I, I don't understand how that's not how, how that's not clear. I don't get it.
you know, I, I know that modesty thing offends a lot of people, bro. And, I, you know, I can't help but offend people these days. I mean, I just don't know how not to offend somebody. Um, yeah, I don't know how not to offend somebody. It, you know, it's not possible to be modest and drive a Denali. If I can afford the car 10 times over comfortably. Well, we didn't say Denali. We said Escalade. But, um, you know, I'll put it to you this way. Uh, George Bush drives a 2014 F-150, bro, and he's a billionaire. That's trying, he's just trying to be, you know, trying to keep it low-key, trying to be modest. You do what you want to do. You may not be a modest person, man. Like, I ain't hating on you. I, I know, Adam. I know I'm doing too much, man. And that, and this is, this is why I say, well, TV, where you been? This is why I don't be on here like that, because... You know, my views, which are, which are, which are, to be honest with you, my views are very Christian. And they set people off, bro. I understand that, Darius. My truths are very Christian. And the truth is, y'all are not Christian anymore. Y'all don't have a religion anymore. So, when I, when I say things, a lot of the stuff I be saying, they come out the good book. And it offends you somewhere. You gotta, you gotta do your own self-check. I can't help that. Never said. See that? See, and this is what I mean by that, uh, TK Thunder. That shouldn't have to be said. Being modest doesn't make you better than who said that. And this is what I mean by when I'm having these lives and I'm talking to y'all. Y'all are very. I'm not saying this. Is what I'm saying. You you take things. The way you package things when you answer me is very negative. And then you will not have anything to say, so you'll say something that is brutally obvious. You'll say, well, everybody ain't meant to be modest. I didn't say they needed to be modest, bro. Modesty is definitely learned. Absolutely. You learn that. The truth is, you already know modesty. Thank you, WE Nation. You already know modesty because your grandma tried to teach you to be modest. The stuff I'm telling you, your grandma and granddaddy been told you. Your granddad been driving a car forever. He's been having patched jeans. He's been had a big thing of change. He's been lived in a modest house. The, the, the stuff that you learned is the non-modest shit. That's the new stuff. That's the new stuff. So when I say something like modesty, for you to act like it is out of this world, it's, it's really crazy because you've been taught that. Most of y'all come from blue collar families. You just don't want to be a blue collar person anymore because you think it means less than. I don't know. But like I said, hey, I haven't always been a modest guy. That's something I had to reconnect with. Right, and, and for, for people to be offended by it is kind of crazy because y'all are on here saying you're not making enough money. I would assume the first thing you have to do is be modest once the money goes down. Like, so you're just going to hold the money all the way to everything sucks? Like, I don't get it. Yes, it, you know, it is what it is. People, you can believe anything you freaking want to believe, but the book says it. <laughs> it is what it is. There's no way to get around it. The book says it. It's already written. It's written five thousand years ago. You know, the book says it. Then you. Then the next argument is, well, I don't believe in God, and I'm an atheist. I can't get into that whole conversation. I can't get into that. I can't get into that. It is what it is. And if I'm going to be, um, come on, WE Nation. Come on, bro. Come on, Scott. Come on, Scott. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's y'all don't, y'all, y'all acting like you don't know, bro. You know. You know, bro. You're not stupid.
That's a fact. Come on, Mark the Trucker. Can't please everyone. Some people have to stay in the left field, TP. That's a fact, because it's like, I'm not saying nothing that is that is crazy. I don't think I am. I mean, all you have to do is look at your dad, man. Look at your granddad. Look at your uncles, bro. Yeah, Jew, Jew's chopping them up, man. You know, and uh, my thing is, I don't look down on people. I'm just saying that the addition to my message that has been new in the past two years is modesty because it's something that I'm working on. When I work on stuff, I come on in, on here and I share it with you. What you're supposed to do and what you have to do is your business. Y'all are grown men. That's a fact, Adam. Y'all are grown men, bro. Because the sad thing is, for you to be mad about modesty, why are you a trucker? When it's a modest blue collar career, your whole career is modest. That's the funny thing. You're in a modest career, bro. What is the outfit of a trucker when you see him on TV? They're in freaking flannels, jeans, and, and beat up boots, bro. That's the truth. So the truth is, if you are driving the truck and you're not, and you're you're driving a truck and you're trying to act like you're not modest, what you are, what you are, is trying to be something you're not. Facts. I got a few twins all over play. Here's another thing, Frank. I got six brothers driving OTR. And three of them have dreads. Put that together. You know, so it's just it's just one of them things, man. Like I said, live the way you want to live. I'm not, you know, I'm not here to be anybody's. You know, I just come on here as my channel. I say my opinion, bro. If you disagree with the opinion, make a response video. Okay, how can a 25 year old whose family has been middle class upper middle class who family has been in trucking for years and can they change their ways by being modest i don't understand the question upper middle class is modest bro that's not high class so you should be modest anyway i don't see how you're not modest bro what's 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 the cash app it's just sean brown man but it's always been the s is a dollar sign Sean Brown. That that's the cash app has always been there, yo. Never changed. Never changed. I promise you couldn't tell me what I said was stupid, bro. What are you talking about, man? Oh, you're talking to Jew. What was done? I, I'm missing something. <coughs> oh my God. Hmm. Y'all, y'all, y'all gang banging in the comments, bro. What's going on? Yeah, like I said, you don't have to be. It's, it's just funny how I can tell by the way y'all are texting that I've offended you. And I didn't mean to, bro. If I did, that's not my aim. It's not my aim. I didn't want to offend you by that. I really didn't. You know, I didn't want to offend you. I didn't want to offend you. I just said my opinion, bro. That's it. Uh, it's not to offend you. It's not to anything. You know. It really isn't. Mr. Mr. Will, I see you. You last one to hit the cash. Yeah, appreciate the love. Doggy, you wasn't really getting money out here. Experience determination by the market. If you want to live modest and within your means, stop expecting top of the line living and just be happy with smaller goals. Mic drop. Mic drop. 
I don't even care no more. I was trying to join the convo modestly. Okay. I didn't tell you you couldn't. How you feel about hourly pay for OTR drivers? Man, we'll make so much money with hourly pay. You have to figure out what we get paid for. Um... All I know is about people with hourly pay have better average checks than people without. And that's about all I'd say about that. Averagely, their checks are higher. Yeah, big time, Adam. Big time. Big time. Ghost Trucker. Ghost Trucker. I mean, rookies better to go OTR or dedicated. That depends on you, bro. I can't answer that question for you. That depends on your mood and what you like dealing with. You know, I'm sitting here. I'm probably going to have to sit here for four hours. Uh, when I get off with y'all, I'm going to jump on the uh, Xbox, play me some, um, play me some zombies. You know, I'm going to jump on the Xbox, play me some zombies. And um, I'm gonna enjoy myself, and then I'm gonna drive towards my next pickup, which I can't pick up till uh, 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 tomorrow. And I'm gonna shut down, get me something to eat, jump back on the game. I'm gonna play the game to my heart's content. I'm gonna wake up, call it eight o'clock in the morning, put it in the door, and head towards Texas, baby. That's a fact. Have you ever looked up Quiet Luxury on YouTube or TikTok? No, I haven't. I haven't looked that up. I haven't looked that up. Holla, that's awesome. Yeah, I haven't looked that up, man. Two years in the truck and I'm about to jump from local shuttle driver to OTR. Kind of worried about want to expand my skills. Man, you may like it, bro. You may like it, man. River Rat, I see you. You may like it. You may enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? plus button. We got creator tools. I thought I could add somebody on here. Can I add somebody on here? Creator tools. Let's see what this creator tools is. Right. Hello fellow truckers. I just found this randomly. That's what's up. Look it up. Quiet luxury. Not interested. At all. Not interested in I'm not interested in none of that. It's not my interest, bro. It's yours. As a man single, no kids. Jew for keeping it 100. Jew's top of the cash app. Big money grip. I see you. Says for keeping it real, bro. Appreciate the love, Jew. Says y'all running and ain't got no money. Damn, Jew, 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 Jew throwing shots, man. OTR is the easiest job on the planet. Uh, you'll like it. I mean, that's what that's how I feel. That's exactly how I feel. Once at delivery, we put a check in. This number is text only. Please call the office with any issues. What? I'm good, man. I'm straight. What you mean? better make them for before you jump 
They don't. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a lot of stuff has to be learned, man. You got to learn how to live out of your truck. You know, really, really what you can look up is like camp life, van, uh, 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 stuff like that. I used to clip of you to get my point across in my video. Hope you are not offended. Nation. D Price, I don't even watch no videos on YouTube, bro. So I couldn't be offended at something I haven't seen. To be honest with you, I'm not going to watch that. OTR feels more like freedom. Local feels like you have time to yourself. I mean, it's what you want, man. You do what you want. At the end of the day, Will Johnson, why are you going back, OTR? What made you go back, OTR? OTR is yeah. So I mean, yeah, like I said, that's just how I feel, bro. I, I feel like, um, I feel like we could learn a lot from our grandfathers and our uh, older people in our family. Um, I do feel like modesty is the is the way. I do. Do I feel like it makes me better than people? No. I don't believe anyone is better than anyone for how they live. I'm not I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that if there was a point I was trying to get across on my channel, it would it would be modesty, bro. It wouldn't be um it wouldn't be any other other stuff. It would be modesty. Frank Evans, I see you. It, it would be modesty. That's what I would want to get across. You know, be work hard. Get some of the, get the things you want, but try to stay grounded. Would be what I would get across. What I would want to get across. You know, that's what I would get across. It isn't something you have to do. It's just a suggestion from me, man. You live any way you want to. You know. You probably make more than I do. So who am I to tell you anything? It's just my platform and it's my opinion. That's it. But um, that's it, man. And I don't want y'all to feel no type of way about it. I just want y'all to think, man. If you're going broke in a city, man, move out of the city, dog. Move somewhere where it's cheaper. You have a job where you can make decent money and live somewhere that is very cheap. That's a benefit to you. Use it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, bro. And like I said, I know y'all are so used to me, like, uh, wanting to go back and forth that, you know, that's basically the culture of the channel now. And that's part of my fault for engaging in it, you know, but that's just not the aim I'm looking for right now. I'm not here to, uh, here to debate you. I'm not interested in debating you at all, to be honest. You believe what you want. Uh, Roslyn, uh, N Y N E, I see you. Uh, you are now top of the cash. Yeah, you knocked you up out of the way. You know, it's like my channel, what it has morphed into, it has become you're watching a veteran driver, over 10 year driver, say his thoughts. So the conclusions that I came up with is kind of a, like a way for you to is a way for you to see kind of the things you may run into. That's why I talk about the wall. That's why I talk about how I felt at different eras in my in my career for you to kind of get a prediction of what to run into and what to expect. And then and, the, and I show you my mistakes so you can kind of know what to expect and not do the mistakes for you to be better off than I am. That's really what the channel morphed into being. That's why I tell stuff to you when people say, oh, man, I'm just in it to get some money and get out. It ain't going to work, bro. Because if you stay in this business for, 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 for 10 years, you're not hireable in no other, in no other division. You're not hireable. No one's going to hire you. The only jobs that are really going to want you are other trucking jobs. So you're not getting out. Well, I could start a business. and Yeah, you could. You could, 
but the truth is you're probably gonna start a business in trucking because that's what you know now like that's just me being honest bro i'm not saying that you personally suck i'm just saying that i doubt it and that's me being honest with you and not being a fake positive person i'm just being real with you bro i've been on youtube about eight years man Appreciate that million. I'm just going to quick decades and get out. You know, that's the truth. Because the real truth is if you come into this game and you do a decade, you're not the same person you was when you got here. So you don't know what you're going to do. That's what a wise person would say. A wise man knows he knows nothing at all. You don't know what you're going to do 10 years from now. You don't know what your health is going to be. You don't know what your responsibilities are going to be. You don't know nothing. So to be able to come in and say that is just, it's just asinine, man. It's not a true statement. And a person who has time in the game should be respectful enough to tell you that. I feel. I mean, Dirty Broke, am I lying here? I mean, you don't know what you're going to be 10 years from now, you know? I thought I'd still be yelling into the camera every day, and I'm not. I'm not the same person, man. That's the, and you shouldn't expect no one to be the same person. You should want to grow. and de Grow means change, bro. Metamorphosis means change. You're not going to be the same. Hopefully, if, if you are the same person you were when you got into trucking at 21, that you are when you're 31, dude, you, you're arrested development, bro. You're not developing. And that, that's that's an issue, man. You're not you're not developing at all, Elton Hayes. I see you. Yeah, a lot will change in ten years. You're gonna be somewhere you couldn't even imagine. Exactly, man. So that's why it's, when y'all young guys come in here and y'all say I'm only gonna be in here for five, ten years and get out, I can I can confidently say no, you're not. I can confidently say that to you because once you sit in this cab, local or OTR, for 12 hours a day for 10 years, you are not going to possess the ability to deal with people close to close that often, bro. Not have, not only are you going to not get out in 10 years, you're not going to want to get out in 10 years. See, that's the thing people are talking about. You're not going to want to. You're just not, bro. You're not going to want to. Yeah, absolutely. You can get a CDL you're missing your right hand. Absolutely. Uh, you can get your CDL you're missing your right hand. You have to drive it automatic, bro. I could sit. I could sit in my truck and 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 put this thing and put this thing in in uh, drive. I can pull a fifth wheel. I can open a door. You know, you, you can do that. only way you could get out is going to another trade and it's going to be hard putting your body through that labor that's a fact the truth is a lot of y'all are, are misunderstanding how bad your lower back muscles have been destroyed and i'll give you a perfect example go on a 10-hour hike stand up for 10 hours because that's what people usually do in these other trades they stand up welders they bend and crouch and stand up uh, uh, ghost trucker X, I see you. A uh, 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 carpenter, stand up. Do that for ten hours, and see how your back feels. See how it feels, man. You know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You are, you are, you are affecting your body sitting here driving, man. You are. I know I'm not the same person I was when I came into trucking. I mean, come on now. All in all, get into a new craft ASAP. That's a stupid response, Darius. What's the new handicap truck spaces are for? There you go. It sucks if the your person that believes it sucks. That's you. People enjoy. This is this is outside of your mind. People enjoy this career, man. They enjoy it. People enjoy driving trucks, man.
People enjoy it, man. You don't enjoy it. That's you. There's people enjoy going from Man Man Manchester to uh to get barbecue in Texas, man. They enjoy it, bro. But, but like I said, the more and more I see the new people come in, y'all just got a real I don't like it. You should get out. To me, it's offensive to me. Cause it's like if you thought there was something better, why did you ever end up here? That's a question. Uh, learn something. You could have learned something new from jump. Why are you here in the first place, bro? Why are you here? Why did you have to end up here? Why didn't you go straight into what you wanted to do? Oh yeah, crane operator. That, that's that's shh, ghost ghost trucker. Shh. That's a major gym right there. That's a major killer. Don't don't, don't tell him that. That's 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 a that's a secret power up move. You know, the difference between people here is money and people here for the love of truck and they thought they was gonna get rich quick. I bet you they did. And the truth is, ain't nothing you gonna do you gonna get rich quick unless you're doing something immoral. And I am not here to tell you to do something immoral. That is not what I'm here for. You gotta go to a different teacher to teach you to do something immoral. Now, I'm not here for that. I'm not here to teach you how to steal from drivers and be a broker. I'm not here to teach you how to do do FX uh, trading and, and mess with economies and, and make money off over over exploited economies in different countries and flipping money. I'm not here for that. I'm not here for that, brother. And if you're looking for that, they're out there. They're just using the wrong place. You're in the wrong place. Yeah, that t the TikTok trucking culture, it it's disgusting, personally. And um, I'm not afraid to say it. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. The only ones I see people on TikTok helping people for real and having real is the people who sit on live. Their conversations go crazy sometimes, but someone can ask a question. And they can get an answer. That's dope. But the rest of that stuff is just pure coon materialism, jigaboot and Satan worship. That's what I believe. And that is my view. I'm allowed to have my own view. Appreciate you being a member, Vaughn. Uh, 25 years, if you think you can drive a truck for years and then go into a trade, man, you won't last a week. Trades are all physical labor. Gonzo Trucker, I've said it, man, but I mean, it just offends people when I say it, but it's like, come on, bro. I feel, I mean, you don't feel no pain when you go with your old lady and she go to the mall or go somewhere and shop for two, three hours. You don't feel that tightness in your lower back. I'm the only one that feel that. What do you think about social democracy? I think democracy was a scam. I think all democracy was a scam. None of it was true. These women truckers show naked uh, bodies is disgusting and disrespectful. I'm not keeping it on uh, only women because y'all watch it. So, no. We're not going to single women out for that. Y'all watch it. And, and you know, these women up there are on there showing their freaking bodies and you dudes are on there showing your cars with rims on it and all that type of stuff. Y'all up there with your shirts off and all that. Y'all doing the same thing they doing. So, no. We're not going to put that on no gender. All of it's disgusting. Man, that's enough, Scott. That's another. That's another. You dropping big keys, man. They don't even know that they can get into the uh, into the rail, be it be on the train, and be a conductor. They don't even know they're looking for conductors right now. 
That's a good job. A lot of cats don't even know that. What about socialism? Dude, I, I mean, I'm be honest, dude, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a, I don't know. I'm not a political scientist. I couldn't tell you. I believe people in power hurt the people that aren't. And it will always be that. I'm in the saying that uh, 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 power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. It, it is what it is. It'll be, it'll be that way in, in, in any form of society, man. The people with the chips and the power are going to, are going to feed on the people without. I used to dig holes all day long on 50 Doug. I, said, I only got YouTube and Facebook for family. Smart move, man, because Instagram and TikTok, it's the devil, bro. It is what it is. It's, it's Satan. So that's all it is. It's nothing else. It, it is. Think of your TikTok feed and your Instagram feed. It is sins. It is materialism, sex, Anger, fear mongering, hate, violence. It's all that wrapped into a constant steam, a constant feed, bro. That's all it is. That's all it is, bro. And I'm not a big religious guy. I'm I'm just I have just been raised in a church enough to uh, to recognize it. I can I know what it is. I can see it and say, oh my god, I know what that is. You know, TikTok, and only in America, they don't do this in their country, but TikTok shows you cheeks, death, cops killing people, fights, arguments, Karens, buy this, death, sex, it just keeps showing it to you over and over. There's no way you're going to be a sane person looking at that growing up. No way. And I'll give you another thought process before I get out of here. Thanks to all the people at the Cash App. When you used to watch cartoons and they would show you brainwashing, they would hold the person down and just show them video after video after video. Cognitive suggesting. And that's exactly what you're doing when you're doing this. That's why, that's why it seems like all the young people are freaking nuts. Because they are nuts. That's true. They're freaking insane. They're freaking insane. And they're driving down the street, scrolling. You know? Uh, uh, Williams, Ghost Trucker, Elton, uh, uh, Rizalyn, Ro I guess that's Rosalyn, Rosalyn, Frank. Appreciate the love to the cash yet, man. I ain't gonna be here all day, bro. I'm not gonna be here all day. I'm gonna get on off here, man. Get on off, I'm gonna jump on the game. Play my game for I would say the next hour. I'm gonna enjoy my game in my truck alone. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna play my video game in my truck and have fun and um, enjoy myself. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, <clears throat> don't do drugs, man. <laughs> Be happy. Uh, thanks to everybody who subbed. I will be dropping. Uh, I'll be dropping these speeches to TikTok, even though it won't do anything on TikTok because it's too wholesome. But I'll drop it on there, and I will drop it on Instagram because I believe you know the the good honest word needs to come out. Not I'm not telling nobody. But I'm not religious word. Just a good genuine word needs to be out there, and I feel like it's just not out there no more. And I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it on there, man. But I appreciate you. Should I go live twice a week, y'all? I don't know, man. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll start up doing it on Friday if I can. I don't know. Don't do drugs. Be happy, man. Try to work on your modesty. Live life. Uh, and um, separate from social media as much as possible. I'm willing to see you. You're the last person to hit the cash app. Don't do drugs, man. Be happy. 